Hello Grateful Spirits, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camille Elaine, and welcome to the Grateful Spirit Faith. If you're new to this channel, welcome. On this channel, we talk about God, we do women's devotionals, we talk about Jesus, we talk about anything encouraging and uplifting for your soul. So welcome to the channel and welcome to the Biblical Sisterhood. If you're new, welcome. Super grateful to have you if you are returning. I'm super grateful that you're here and I almost just knocked over the camera. All right, so today as the title, as you can tell, this is for the girl that wants to give up on life. Before we get into this with a personal testimony, let's go ahead and start out in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for everyone who is watching this video today. Lord, we ask that you just sit at the presence of our heart, God, and just allow us to open up to you, God. Allow us to hear your word like never before and come together in your presence, Lord. We just want to thank you so much for all you've done for us. We just want to thank you for all the courage and the wisdom and the love that you've just been bestowing upon our lives, God. We just ask that you continue to guide us, continue to help us live out your will and your purpose over our lives. Thank you for bringing us all together, Lord, as we come to you. We ask that you please continue to give us strength in our weaknesses and provide all the courage that we need in this time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, thank you so much. Let's get into today's message. This message, again, is for the girl, the woman, the wife, the sister, the mother, the aunt, the girl that feels like giving up, the girl that wants to throw in the towel to life, okay? I've once been this person and I could be talking to myself because I am talking to myself in this video and I'm also talking to the person that really feels like giving up on life. Um, I've been there before. I've been in dark situations where it kind of just feels like there's no way out, okay? There's no way out. Um, I've been in situations feeling alone um, you know, being in a room full of people feeling alone, feeling alone in life, you know, just in the trials, the tribulations, the everyday decisions that we have to make as being a mother, um, maybe a single mother, right? I've been there before too. It's hard. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy. And just the little bits and pieces that I do show of my life on social media, um, people might think that it's easy and it's never easy. It's not an easy job being a mother. It's not an easy job just being on earth, <laughs> right? I mean, we're put here, we're put with situations, tribulations in life that alter our faith, um, you know, dark situations, things that are unfortunate sometimes, and it builds our character, right? And the Bible talks a lot about endurance and persevering and, and, and God building character in us. But what about sometimes when you're tired? You're just like, God, I don't, I, I don't know if there's any more character in me to be built. I'm ready to throw in the towel. I'm tired. It's hard. Um, and these are words that I have prayed to God um, myself, and I get emotional speaking about it because I've numerous times had to come to God um, on this walk with motherhood. Just God, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I know I signed up for this, but I'm I'm stuck. I don't know everything. And it's so important to surrender to God when we are feeling at our lowest. These are the times that God works in our weaknesses, right? And so I want to encourage you that if you are feeling like giving up on, maybe it's a calling that you had on your life, a dream that you wanted to chase, or maybe it's something that God has just been continuously putting on your heart and you're just feeling like giving up on it, or maybe you're just feeling like giving up on everything. I mean, there's times when you just want to feel like giving up on life. Um, maybe there's thoughts, you know, and trigger warning, um, thoughts of just not wanting to be here completely or feeling like you have no purpose. Like I've felt these ways before. I've been at my lowest where I didn't have a car, I didn't have a job. Um, back at home parents with two kids, feeling like completely nothing, okay? Completely feeling like, why am I here? I have no reason for this. But God has every reason for you. God has every reason in your life and God provides so many reasons why you are so purposeful, why you have so much purpose over your life. The enemy will try over and over to make you feel as if you are not worthy. He will try over and over to make you feel like it's better without you. And I don't know how many times I've heard the whisper of the enemy in my ear telling me that it's better if you're just not here. It's better if you're just not here. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Like, no one cares about you. There's nothing left. You can't find a job. You don't have a car. You can't provide. Why are you here? The enemy will whisper these things just so that he can get you on his side. 
okay and we have to fight so hard in these times and mental health is very important and i'm an advocate of mental health being in good condition because we can be put through so many things in life from careers from jobs relationships that can mess with our mental health and sometimes we need someone to talk to to put these things into perspective for us because it's hard you know and yes, God is our savior. God is our, our provider. And God needs to know about these things that we are feeling dark. And God was the only one to bring me from this feeling of darkness, this feeling of not feeling worthy, this feeling of I can't do this motherhood thing alone. And, and I couldn't. And I had to surrender to God and let him know of the burdens of my heart. Um, burdens can become very heavy when we carry them for so long. I know me, just being a mother in general, and um, just everyday duties of life, work, everything gets caught up and you, you forget sometimes, you forget about yourself, you forget about that we are actually a human too and we need to slow down and sit at God's feet and really lay it all out to Him. So this is for the girl that wants to give up. This is for the woman that feels like she's ready to give up. I am encouraging you to hold on a little longer. God wants to see your hand through this. He wants to hold your hand through this time. And I know it's easier said than done, but I've been there. I've been the mom wanting to give up. I've been the mom crying on the kitchen floor, crying on the bathroom floor when the kids are asleep, really exhausted, tired, crying to God, like, how am I supposed to do this? I don't know what to do. Help me. I'm looking for a job, God. I couldn't find a job at these times. I've been that woman, helpless, crying out to God, and God has poured into my life just as I know he is going to do, just as I know he is going to do for you. It's the enemy that wants to take your joy. It's the enemy that wants to continuously tell you that you're not going to make it out alive. It's the enemy telling you that he has a grip over your life. And I'm here to remind you that God has a grip over your life to hold on a little bit longer. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I know that I needed to hear this at one point in my life. And maybe this video can encourage the person that wants to give up. And I want to encourage you to hold on to God, hold on to his promises over your life because he truly cares for you. He truly has so much purpose. And I know it's hard and you're, you're getting weary, you're getting burdened. But God says that when we become burdened and weary to give all of our worries over to him, okay? That he will see us through these times just as I know he is going to see you through in this time. And I know this season is hard. This season is really breaking you down. And, and sometimes you really felt like, God, I don't know if I can do it anymore. I'm done. I'm completely done. And yes, we cry these words out to God sometimes, but God is saying, I am not done with you. I am not finished writing your story. God has a purposeful story with your name on it. And God says to you today that he is not done with you. He is not done writing your story. He wants you to get up from where you are at. He wants you to persevere. He wants you to surrender and allow him to guide your life. And that's what I had to do. I had to surrender to God and stop trying to control everything myself. Stop being hard on myself. The inner dialogue that I had about myself, I had to really give it over to God and really start to align my thoughts with what God said about me. I had to align my vision with God's vision for him to really come into the center of my life. And I pray this over your life that do not give up. It is not the time to give up. It is the time to fight in your word, to stand rooted in God's word, to stay rooted in God's word, his truth and his promises over your life. It's hard and I know it. And I know sometimes you want to give up, but God has a purpose over your life and if you take a look at your Bible in James 1 12 it says blessed is the one who endures trials because when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him okay blessed is the one who endures trials okay yes maybe we didn't sign up for these trials in our lives but we are going to have them right being believers being christians it doesn't mean that we're going to have a good life it doesn't mean that we're going to have this good life just because we believe that we're reading our bible that we're not going to have any trials and tribulations but god says blessed is the one who endures trials okay enduring the trials of motherhood enduring the trials of marriage enduring the trials of life okay blessed is that person god does not want you to give up on the blessings that he has over your life he wants to pour into you so in this time in your weaknesses allow god to be 
be your strength, okay? Allow God to be your strength. And I know praying, and sometimes we can be praying and praying, and sometimes we feel like we don't hear God's voice. But do not lose faith in God. God has never left you. He will always be with you. As I have it here, I'm always with you. Matthew 28, 20, that's an always constant reminder. I'm always with you. Even if God's voice feels distance from you in this time when you're wanting to give up, God will never leave your side. It's not your time to give up. God has so much purpose over your life and you are put here for a specific reason. I want you to take a look at 2 Timothy 4, 7. It says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Okay, keeping the faith, keeping the faith during these trials, keeping the faith knowing that God is with you. He cannot afford for you to give up. He cannot afford for you to miss out on all of the purpose that he has over your life. So today, I don't know who this is for, but I'm encouraging you to hold on a little longer. Hold on to God's promises. Dive into his promises. Drive into his scripture. Get in alignment with what God says about you, okay? Because he loves you. You are chosen. You are his masterpiece. I pray that this video blesses you today. I pray that it touches your heart. And if you really are in a trying time and you really are feeling like everything is just caving in on you, I want to remind you that God has not forgotten about you, okay? I want to remind you to stand strong in your faith, okay? I want to remind you that it is impossible with man, but it is so possible with God. And I love you and I pray this over your life. And I pray that God is guiding you and leading you to righteousness, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need a prayer request, the email is thegratefulspiritfaith at gmail.com. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for just being a great community um, and all your feedback. I love and appreciate every single comment. You guys are amazing. This is about building up God's kingdom, reminding each other of just how important we are. You know, we are human. We're going to go through tests we're going to go through um trials and tribulations we're going to have testimonies to share with other people to encourage them to encourage them and to spread the gospel so thank you for being here i love you so much and i'll catch you all in my next video bye Mwah. <laughs>